Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Yellow Penguin, and welcome to the next installment of the OEM series. Now, today, here we have a Packard Bell. It's a VM, but you won't notice the difference. Anyways, so here we go. We got a Packard Bell today, and the OS that we're going to be starting off is Windows 98 First Edition. It's that a second edition, which I actually is my first time realistically using First Edition of Windows 98, if you could believe it or not. Anyways, our specs of this quote-unquote Packard Bell is a Pentium 2. Definitely true. If, uh, but we have 512 megabytes of RAM at the moment, and we currently have, let me go here, a uh, 4 gig hard drive, which is clearly usable. Now, just to get this short and brief, we're going to quickly go over everything. I'm going to go over stuff because I've noticed myself that I just go on and on. So we got a bunch of apps on our desktop, MSN stuff, some offers, some tours, Shortcuts and retro time. I'm actually doing this on my on a computer right now. It's a display of 36 on 68, while the output of this of my computer is actually 1080p. I can't read any of this very well. But this is clear 90 stuff. Like this is prob I want to say this is probably flash. I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, this is a really old thing of like AT&T, for example. Uh, we got Word 90, Office 97, it looks like being installed with uh, that clippy, maybe the oldest one, in fact. So we'll go ahead and just. Yeah. Let's see, we'll go with this clippy. <laughs> uh, there we go. Anyways. So we're going to go from Windows 98 um, to Windows Millennium Edition, then to XP, Vista, and then the Shebang. We got, we're going to get along here. We do have, you know, we have TurboTax. Not a lot of internet required, but off this Microsoft works. The Internet Explorer, I mean, it's 4.0. We've got front page. <laughs> ah, it's actually, I forgot about this. Um, it actually goes to this HTML if you're able to go to, if you're going to a web page. You're on, yeah, Internet IE4. It's pretty old. And. Yeah, I don't really think anything that could go wrong by this point, which is, of course, the last thing I should be saying. But yeah, we're going to start for installation, but it's my mission, so sorry, time lapse. Have our amazing welcome video. Wait, no. uh -huh. Anyways, for that, we have successfully upgraded to Windows and we have the real I think, for some reason. Hi. So, we'll quickly do something about this. Quick. Let's go ahead and just make this um, stretched. That's a little better. <laughs> Alright, so we got some new icons that look like the desktop. Like MSN. Who uses that anymore? Actually, you could actually still use MSN, actually. We also got our Office 97 still. Up. I need to make a document on it, which is fine. You know, I got some apps, but we still got listed everything here. I was like, I think I should change, which is fine because it's just Windows ME anyway. For example, this kid that thing. That still works. Packard Bell tour. Thank you for buying a Packard Bell computer. Uh, 
Would you like to register or register? Have neither. Here we go. Properties. And I see, yeah, right back to normal CPU. Well, we, we technically do have. But it looks like everything is still in place with, you know, some slight upgrades. Uh, around IE5. I'm curious though if I were to like air out a web page. I am a little curious. Um, really? You can't just do control A there? That's dumb. Let's go and see if we can just go to like a. Uh, just for example, let's even go like to windows.com, which I don't think should be. Okay, so our old Packard Pal page is not gone. That's not surprising. But. No, everything just looks, you know, insane. So that's good. It works out pretty well. So got our, yeah, so got the AT&T best offer. All right. So in this case, let's go and move on to Windows XP. Okay, we're now on Windows XP, as you can see. It is uh, successfully completed, and we've already done our normal upgrading to NCFS, we have our password. And because we're going to work more tools, we do have to use our driver, a lot of drivers, in fact, all the sounds. Alright, that's better. Okay, so this is how much more apps here than IE8, for example, so... You know, if I can just do it, I can just select the trip ads. Channel guide, and that's what you can do with the It's probably about, yeah, there's a fan. I mean, that's probably how they do it, because I'm going to make it a little bit Okay, and then just for example, this is the upcoming Asian TV software, which actually is over there in Explorer. Yes, you're fine. Yes, we're out. <laughs> That's so works. You see that kid on that? Yep. We do. And I'm about to have like 10,000 years going through these. Uh, so I gotta see a lot of stuff. It's actually easier to see now because the message is so small, I can actually read it personally. I'm going to see Microsoft Chat before, that's interesting. Okay, so that's a good one for their boxes, which I think is quite fine. I think it could be. Yes, I think it is. 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 It's actually still like... It's Microsoft Chat, but it's not quite like we're on the corner of the boss. I don't know. Okay. I'm actually not seeing this program before, but you're not. Okay, we're gonna do a bunch of windows, just uh, all the core. I actually have worried about everything in the wallpaper. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, so I seem to have So, 
十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十八八十Go ahead and move on to Windows Vista for good now. Alright, so as you can see, Windows Vista has installed, except it looks like we did lose our lost more drivers than before, which is very cool. There are some desktop icons, it looks like. But to keep stuff sunk up here, for example. And then, yeah, we have the internet anymore, so. That's fine. We still got our ATT best offer. Um, still got Packerville Tour. We do not have Kittlenet anymore. That is so, oh boy. That is kinda no longer with us. Um, navigation is. Oh, I didn't see that before, but that's still working. Energy folder. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know where that's from, but. Alright, I see that. I see. Oh, I'm gonna go just like on the wall. You got that one. Then. Is that me? That's what I mean. Yeah, let's look at that one. We'll have to make a stretch again, though. And I actually don't know where it keeps those, but it's cool. I didn't even see that was on here. That's interesting. That's cool. And I think everything else would still work, probably. Let's say I got an old Christmas game. Does not work. This is channel missing, I think. Probably not work either. Uh. Can see what the other apps we use. Oh, yes, Office thing. Or Warden 97, that still works. And I think that was all we really tested, in a way. So, it still works. Let's go move on to Windows 7.
car now on Windows 7. But it looks fine right now. Donut's still dead. Well, dead but alive, I guess. I forgot about that already. Um, AT&T still works. Packard Del Tour still works. This still works. I don't know if I could use it, that's kind of cool. Um, Windows 10 still works. Okay. So everything still works on Windows 7. It looks like we still don't have any sound or anything like that. But otherwise, I think we're about to Windows 10. As you can see, Windows 10 actually failed to install. I could try again, although it said there's something weird partitioning, so I feel like it would probably crap out again. So unfortunately, we have failed to go to Windows 10. But we did make it pretty far. We made it from Windows 98 to ME to XP to Vista and then the 7. So we made a pretty big chunk. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Call like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.